about chapter 13, the development of modern mathematics from the transitional century to the 21th century. A. The scientific revolution period. 1. The 17th century. The 17th century witnessed an unprecedented increase in mathematical and scientific ideas throughout Europe. Galileo Galilei was able to observe Jupiter moons with his homemade telescope based on toys imported from Poland. Tycho Brahe managed to collect a large amount of mathematical data describing the position of the planets in space. When Descartes developed analytic geometry by placing the orbits of the planets onto a graph of the Cartesian coordinates. Isaac Newton is perhaps best known for his contributions to physics. However, his services in mathematics should be should not be underestimated. His most famous work is the Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica, or Mathematical Principle of Natural Philosophy, which was first published on July 5, 1687. In formulating his physical theory, Newton developed a method that we know today as calculus. Newton's calculus at the time used a different notation from modern calculus notations. Because of this, Newton is considered one of the founders of calculus. Another discoverer of calculus was Gottfried Wilhelm von Leibniz. He is considered one of the most important mathematicians in his story. Separately from Newton, Leibniz developed differential and integral calculus. In his calculus, Leibniz introduced a notation that is still widely used today, like d for derivatives and for integers like this, integrals. Leibniz also contributed to algebra and topology. He was the first to understand that the coefficients of a system of linear equations couldn't be arranged in rows. We can know them matrices to find solutions to the system of equations. This method was later called Gaussian elimination. Applications of mathematics developed in new directions. Blaise Pascal and Pierre de Fermat team up to investigate probability theory and combinatoric rules in their discussions of gambling. The next one is second, 18th century. The most influential mathematicians in 18th century was arguably Leonhard Euler. One of his contributions was discovery of the study of graph theory with the seven bridges of Konigsberg for standardizing many modern mathematical terms and notations. He also popularized the symbol P to express the ratio between the circumference of a circle and its diameter. He made many contributions in topology, graph theory, calculus, combinatorics, and complex analysis. Another important mathematician of the 18th century was Joseph Louis Lagrange, who did pioneering work in number theory, algebra, differential calculus, and the calculus of variation. There was also Laplace, who had that important work on the foundations of celestial mechanics and statistics. The next one is B. Modern Era. First, 19th century. Mathematics become increasingly abstract. Carl Frederick Gauss, known as the Prince of Mathematics, made revolutionary work on complex variable functions and the convergence of series. He was also first to give satisfactory proofs on the fundamental theorem of algebra and the quadratic reciprocity law. In this century, also developed two new geometric steps besides Euclidean geometry. 
the Russian mathematicians Nikolai Ivanovich Lobachevsky and his rival Janusz Bolyai, the Hungarian mathematicians, separately defined and studied hyperbolic geometry, while one other form, namely elliptical geometry, was developed by German mathematics, Berhan Riemann, in the late 19th century. He was also developed Riemannian geometry, which unifies and broadly generalizes the three types of geometry, and also defines the concept of manifold, which generalizes the, the notions of curves and surfaces. The 19th century saw the beginnings of much abstract algebra. The British mathematicians George Boole defies an algebra that soon evolved into Boolean algebra, which contained only the numbers 0 and 1. Boolean algebra became the starting point of mathematical logic and had an important role in computing science. Augustin Louis Cauchy, Bernhard Wehrmann, and Karl Weierstrass reported calculus in a more rigid way. In this century, too, for the first time, the boundaries of mathematics were explored. Neil Henrik Abel from Norway and Faris T. Galois from France proved that there is no general algebraic method for solving polynomial equation with more than four degrees. Or we can say that Abel Ruffini theorem. Abel and Galois' investigation into the solution of Perrier's polynomial equation laid the foundations for the development of group theory, as well as fields related to abstract algebra. In the late 19th century, George Cantor built the first foundations of set theory, which allowed us to understand precisely the idea of infinity and has become a common language in almost all branches of mathematics. Cantor set theory and mathematical logic developed by Peano, Lech Brouwer, David Hilbert, Bertrand Russell, and Ayn Whitehart are considered the basic foundations of mathematics. In this 19th century, too, several mathematical communities were established. This include the London Mathematical Society in 1865, the Société Mathematique de France in 1872, the Edinburgh Mathematical Society in 1883, and the Crocolo Mathematico di Palermo in Palermo in 1884 and the American Mathematical Society in 1888 and the last one the Quaternion Society in 1899 the next one is the 12th century now the 12th century so how mathematics become a mainstream professions Every year, thousands of doctorate or PhD degrees in mathematics are awards, and there are many jobs available in education and industry. In 1900 century, David Hilbert, in a speech to the International Congress of Mathematicians, presents a list of 23 unsolved problems in mathematics. These problems, which covers many areas of mathematics, become the main focus of much of the mathematics of the 12th century. Currently, 10 have been solved, 7 have been partially solved, and 2 are still open, and 4 issues have yet to be declared solved or not. Several conjectures that stand out in his story have been proved. In the 1976, Wolfgang Haken and Kenneth Appel used computers to probe the four color theorem. Andrew Wills probed Fermat's last theorem, or in 1995, and in 1000 or three years later, Thomas Callister Hallis probed the calculus conjecture. 
mathematical collaborations of unprecedented size and scope. An example is the classifications of finite simple groups, also called the innermost theorem whose proof between 1955 and 1983 required 500 journals article by about 100 authors and filled tens of thousands of pages. Differential geometry emerged when Einstein used it in general relativity. Entirely, new fields of mathematics such as mathematical logic, topology, and gem and gem theory have changed the type of questions that can be answered by mathematical method. All types of structure are abstract by axioms and given names like matrix space, topological space, etc. Concept of abstract structure lead to category theory. Kern Grothendieck and Sarah reconstruct algebraic geometry using step theory. Great progress was made in the qualitative study of dynamical systems started by Poincaré in 1890s. Mises theory was developed in the late 19th century and early 12th centuries. Its applications include Lebesgue integral. Kolmogorov's axiomatization of probability theory and egordic theory. Now theory is developing rapidly. Quantum mechanics brought the development of functional analysis or functional or on the other new fields included Lorentz Schwartz distribution theory, fixed point theory, singularity theory and Rene Tom's Castro theory model theory and model board fractals. The continuous development and improvement of computers allows industry to deal with larger and larger amount of data to facilitate mass productions, distributions, and communications. With this development, new fields of mathematics have also developed, including Alan Turing's computability theory, complexity theory, data analysis and optimization. In the previous century, most mathematics focus on calculus and continuous function, but the development of computing and communication networks made the concept of discrete and combinatoric expansion even more important, including web theory. The ability and speed of data processing on a computer enables the handling of mathematical problems that take too much time to do with pencil and paper, leading to fields such as numerical analysis and symbolic computing. Some of the most important methods and algorithms on the, of the 12th century include the simplex algorithm, the fast Fourier transform, error correcting codes, the Kalmar Peter from control theory, and the RSA algorithm of public key cryptography. One of the most interesting mathematicians in the 12th century was Rini Fasa Ayanga Ramanujan, an Indian self taught who has guessed and proved more than 3,000 theorems, including properties of very high composite number, partition functions, and their asymptotic, as well as mock theta function, and he also made major investigation into gamma functions, modular forms, divergence theories, hypergeometric theories, and prime number theory. Then, in the middle of the century in the United States, there was a mathematics teaching project led by Beberman in 1952, namely UICSM the University of Illinois Committee on School Mathematics, which emphasized understanding and discovery. Because this project is forerunner of modern mathematics, Babarna as a leader of the project is called the father of modern mathematics. One of them created a modern mathematics movement, which is a continuation of the UICSM project, namely SMSG, 
School of Mathematics Study Group project led by Dr. A. Beagle in the 1958 the results of which were able to make big difference not only in America but also for teaching of mathematics around the world. The next one is the last one, the third, 21st century or 21st century. In 2000s, the Clay Mathematical Institute announced seven millennium prize problem, and in 2003. The Poincaré conjecture was solved by Grigory Perelman, who refused to accept the award because of his critical attitude towards the establishment of mathematics. Many mathematical journals now have an online version, such as the print version and many journals are only published online. There are many observable trends in mathematics. The most notable of which are the subject is getting bigger, computers are getting more important and powerful, the application of mathematics to bioinformatics is growing rapidly, and the volume of data generated by science and industry, facilitated by computers, is explosively growing. I think that's all that I can explain about chapter, the last chapter, chapter 13. Please forgive me if I had a mistake in my explanations and in my pronunciations. See you in the next video.